Giorno avanza, giorno sao, bene, bene, vieni, quindi cosa facciamo? Ci divengo? La pioggia non ci facciamo. Mm, mm. Buono. E quindi ha già preparato un po' gli ingredienti. Sì. Cosa ci vuole? Ci vuole il zemolo, sì. il sedano. La carota, okay. il pomodoro, le spezie. E le spezie, ok. E facciamo le ravioli facciamo con la carne o con solo la carne, con la verdura? Facciamo con la carne sì. e con la verdura. Ok, tutte e due. Tutte e due. Allora, ora hai messo tutto... Ho messo la carne. La carne. La carne. Sì. Due fette di pane, sale, pepe, olio. Sì. Pe per che cosa serve il pane? Per morbidire la carne. Ah, okay. e non c'è moscata e lo lasciamo cuocere. Aggiungiamo le uova. E perché aggiungi le uova? Eh, farle amalgamare insieme okay. e per darle anche un po' di gusto. Ok, giro in. Giro in. Giro in. Ecco. Allora, nonna, come com lo sai te quando fino questo deve venire? La pasta la senti un po' con sì, le mani sì. e un po' la devi passare diverse volte da rullo. Ok. E poi con la mano senti quanti sì. fini. Ok. E, e poi metti il pasto. I'm Teresa's grandchild and um, we're doing a bit of a different filling now, a vegetarian option um, with spinach and ricotta and what's in there is ricotta cheese and spinach or bietola and salt 
pepper and nutmeg and uh, egg. Now I'm just basically shaping the filling um, so that I can fold the pasta over and uh, basically prepare it to be molded and cut. So you must make sure that um, there isn't space for air bubbles to get in because it's more likely then that you're going to boil from the inside of the ravioli rather than the outside. And the chances are very high that then it will come out of the ravioli and in essence what you're going to get is filling and then pasta, which is not what you want. You want it to get in. And now comes the cutting. My Maria Teresa went into the kitchen to prepare the sugo for the ravioli and in the meantime I'm going to tell you a little bit about her. She's uh, originally from Lucca, Italy and she moved here in 1961 and has been in, has been in South Africa ever since. Um, her and her husband have been living in the same house and here she also raised her four children and they lived together uh, with the mother-in-law. She, she was always used to have people in the house, people over, her family, friends, grandchildren. And uh, nevertheless, living many, many years in South Africa, she has always remained loyal to the Italian cuisine and uh, especially the, the Tuscan food. She prepares a lot of Tuscan platters. And one of her favorite dishes definitely is lasagne. And what she also makes incredibly well are obviously the ravioli we prepared today and her uh, rabbit and polenta. That's one of her favorites. Um, I think we could go in the kitchen now and see how far she's with the sugo. Hey! A che punto sei? Quasi pronta. Quasi pronta? Okay, cool. So she's basically preparing uh, two, two sugos for the ravioli. Um, one, is, uh, one is with meat and the other one is a vit vegetarian version of it. So she's just uh, busy separating the pots so she can make the one pot with the meat ravioli and one with the ricotta. Ecco. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> so in a little while uh, she's expecting her daughter and her son to come over. I'm sure they're gonna be super happy to find ravioli. E ti porto quegli altri? No, Vai no. sì? Ok. No, no, no. According to Maria Teresa, I have to turn them very, very slowly um, in order not to break them up. And I have to be careful that the water is not coming out. So now it's boiling again. So it should take them about five to six minutes to be ready. Assaggiamo? Okay. Cool, I get to taste the first one. I'm asking her why she's doing it in 
layers, when she puts the sugo over and the pasta, she always puts ravioli and sugo and ravioli again. Perché facendo a suoli vengano conditi molto meglio. I am clearing the table. At the moment, this basket is prepared. It's lots and lots. Hello. 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 <laughs> Maria Teresa, eh? thank you very much for the cooking lesson. Grazie tanto per la lezione e spero che riuscirò a fare uguale a te. Cicci, cicci, cicci. Salute, acqua, chi ha mangiato il buono.